Outcast Creighton Gen's Ace 11,000 milliamp 4S batteries right here. I'm going to show these things to you, show you how to fit them in your Outcast or Creighton 8S, and take it for a drive. Take a look. Let's get this thing opened up. Ooh. Instructions. Yes, we need to read those. Here we are. I'm already picking it up by the wires. This is, this is like a hard case. This is kind of like a hard and soft case. It's not completely hard like a normal hard case is, but uh, it feels nice and solid. 4S2P. That means there's eight individual cells in here. Um, so it's a series parallel circuit is what's in here. Now, this is marketed for the Creighton and Outcast, so it does have the EC5 connectors. All right, now let's get these into the Creighton. You gotta open your battery tray up to make room for this monster to that. So yeah, that is almost all the way out. It is in the second set of holes. I'll show you that in just a second. So yeah, definitely gotta open that up. You can see on the bottom, definitely all the way out there. So, yep, now let's go ahead and get this in place. Battery fits in perfectly. You could go all the way with it, especially if you got a little bit of foam tape, you know, some kind of cushion you want. This right here just shows you how much of a difference it is over at the stock battery tray length. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one set and set both batteries down in there. With that side set up, you can see how the battery tray kind of sticks out from the chassis a little bit. That really should not be an issue. So I'm also gonna show you this on the Outcast. Now, even though this is the M2C chassis, pretty sure it's gonna be the exact same way. Clears the arms, everything seems to do all right. So yeah, should be good to go there. Just so you know, this has a 800 kV castle motor. You guys saw the XLX. It's geared with a 45 tooth pinion gear with a 47 tooth spur gear. This video isn't so much about back flips or any of that. It's about how long can it run. Granted, we're probably still going to get some back flips, but I really don't want to break the truck. I'll keep track of time and just let you guys know how long this thing runs. But let's get to do. Let's do some driving. <laughs> One thing's for sure, punch is never going to be an issue. These, these tires are just so huge. The run time. That's where I really think these batteries are going to shine. And also, um, before I wrap this video up and I get out, you know, back to the table, we're going to see if these fit the Losi DBXLE because I know you guys are probably thinking, will they fit the DBXLE? Well, we're gonna find out. I think they're gonna be close. These Proline tires are awesome, but they almost seem like they're a little bit slick out here on the grass, so. Then again, we've been getting rain and lots of rain. And rather than hooking up and getting that wheelie, they're just kind of spinning. And there goes a wheelie. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> I make up an excuse for not being able to wheelie, and it wheelies. <laughs> Love it. Ah, oh, there's my excuse working. That was actually beautiful. Landed perfectly right down the other side. Ooh, an ant bed. <laughs> I love it when it lands on the down ramp, man. It's just so nice and smooth. That was not a down ramp landing. And I had to throttle it just a little bit to get that front end up, because you take this thing nose down, well, if you have a crate and you guys know you could really, really pop that uh, suspension arm. I was about to say axle for some reason. Oh, 
That was awesome. I was on the wrong side. I want to try that again. All right, so I came across here, all right? Then I hit this, the truck turned, and I caught it down the ramp. Can I get that again? I <laughs> got it. Usually I can't get things like that twice. Water over there. <laughs> Third time was not the charm. <laughs> now what I'm trying to do is just bash around with it and give a good mix of driving, you know. If all I'm doing is speed runs up and down the field, that doesn't really represent, in my opinion, the way I generally bash. Uh, general bash with the guys, you know, you know, we're hitting the jump, talking smack, and then, you know, hitting the jump again and just having a good time. But it's not all about maximum speed and all that. But Where'd I go? Oh, there we go. Oh, that was beautiful. This is going to be a blind jump. I know what's on the other side, but I'm not sure how I'm going to hit it. Wow! Ooh, hope I got that. I kind of had to take some evasive maneuvers. In other words, I had to get the heck out of the way. <laughs> There's a lot of trucks out there you can take the hit, you know, and be just fine. A lot of times, this is not one of them. This is a uh, truck that will can take you right out. Now this is a nice cold winter day here in Florida. I want to say it's around 74. <laughs> oh yeah. a little reckless now I gotta keep it together so I can get a full battery run out of this <laughs> okay so I've done the jumps I've done all kinds of general bashing related stuff Oh, there's something in there. <laughs> that was uh, that was interesting. It just dead stopped a 40 pound truck. Anyway, what I was going to get at is it's time to just simply. Run the field a little bit. Wow, these batteries still got tons of power. And they should. They really should. Now this field out here, this is Florida grass grows all year long. So um, believe me, any marks that you guys see they're going to be long gone, probably about one day. 
definitely got some good power here. So far I've been running about 16 minutes. So, and you guys have pretty much seen it all. I mean, I, I'll probably have to edit a little bit, but still I'm just simply gonna make some passes down the middle here and see how long they last. Okay, so here we are at about 28 minutes. The data logger is pretty much full, so we're just gonna give it a few pulls. Let's just see here. It's, they still got power. I mean, for real. <laughs> oh wow, what was that? That was a dance and a splat. I still got more driving to do, apparently. All right, I'm going to go sit back down and run some more laps. Okay, I'm starting to notice a good drop. It's kind of cutting out a little bit, so... Wow. Kind of wanted to catch that, but couldn't get the phone up in time. <laughs> so, here we go. Got a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's down. Just for the heck of it, I want to see something. Let's see here. Yep. It's like 33, 34 minutes. And running up and down there at various very little throttle and all that. Curious here, come on, get out of there. Batteries at 120, connectors, well they're on the battery, so they're 120, 114. Motor, looks like, I think I saw 170 right there for a second. Huh. Anyway. ESC, nice and cold, so yeah, that was a good run. I'll go back and look at the timer and uh, get all this written down. As far as putting these into the DBXLE, you guys can see they just simply don't fit. But, you know, I do kind of got a feeling if we had some different battery trays, I think they could be made to fit. They don't fit uh, like this right here. They don't fit. I can get that there we go see they don't fit there they do fit down where the straps are as far as the length goes you can do something with that with a new uh, tray just got to make sure you keep it away from the bell crank just enough and absolutely away from that spur gear you really don't want that battery to get into there the back would be actually pretty easy just simply open it up more towards the back and drop it in but as it sits, no, the 11,000s do not fit the DBXLE. So in the end, almost 37 minutes of runtime. That was a little more solid runtime than what I normally do. If I was out with the guys, heck, I probably would get an hour out of this. I mean, sure, we do some drag racing together. I mean, of course, right? But, you know, uh, we, do, we, do, we, we spend a lot of time running our mouths, talking smack and all that, having a good time. So, it is what it is. Uh, that, was, that was a good run. At about the 20 minute mark, I noticed they kind of dropped a little bit. You could kind of tell, okay, maybe uh, they're getting down a little bit. But they lasted almost another 17 minutes after that. So, no complaints. Phenomenal battery. They don't fit the DBXLE like you guys just saw. Kind of a bummer there. I think they'd run great in that truck. Um... I do feel that with the right mount, we could change the battery mounts out. I think we could make it happen though, but it would take some custom mounts to make it happen. But anyways, guys, the batteries ran great. No issues at all. So in that description, I will put links to these batteries right here from Jen's Ace. I will put links to the tires, 
the truck, the motor, the ESC, all of that is down there. There are affiliate links from Amain, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Use those links, check out, helps out the channel. So guys, hopefully you liked the video. Um, almost 37 minutes on a Creighton, that's phenomenal. Um, use those links, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button, ring that bell. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you really like it, ring that bell so you get all the new content when it comes on out. Now, uh, starting up very soon, I'm going to start a giveaway for all channel members and it is going to be monthly. It will be a giveaway, simple, easy payment way to double your return on your subscription fees. So yeah, you might want to check that out. Guys, thank you all for watching.